Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am so excited. I finally decided to start decorating Aniston's room and organizing it and I'm kicking myself because we started this yesterday, which was Sunday, January 17th. And I was gonna come on and give you guys a before, before we went through all of her toys, her clothes, everything, and give you guys a glimpse at that. And I was gonna lay out all the decor I got which isn't a lot so far, but show you that. So I figured, you know what? We got her room organized yesterday. We have a ton of clothes we're giving to a friend who has a little girl that's about to be three. And then we have a bunch of toys we're donating. So now her room's all nice and organized. And Chris got the few pieces of decor I did by hung up on the wall. So I thought I'll just show you guys the progress right now so far. Um, there's still a lot left that I would like to do. And I kind of thought maybe I would just come on and do little updates. Like as the pieces that I order come in, I'll do a video and show you guys. And then obviously a big reveal at the end. So. Let's start in here. She's at my mom's right now. She had a sleepover there last night, so I figured it was a perfect time to show you guys her room. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Right now I'm standing at the door. So I don't know if you guys remember in the past, I've kind of had this table in here, taken it out. We've gone back and forth a few times with it. Um, it was just in the loft recently because over here was her toy kitchen. She never played with it anymore at our house. Hers was actually it's super cute, but it was really short. She got it when she was one and she's pretty tall for it right now. Um, and so we decided we're going to donate that and then we took all of the toy food and her little metal shopping cart And we're going to take that over to my mom's house because she has a toy kitchen and a grocery store So it'll be perfect over there So that really opened this space up and let me bring the table back in um, not sure if it'll stay here or not right now I'm leaning towards yes because the colors match perfectly with some of the decor we bought um, And then her dollhouse that used to be over there We took over to my mom's house so she has a dollhouse to play with over there So right now the only toys that she has like out and visible in her room is her barbie house Which she plays with every day that my niece gave her her little barbie car and airplane and then her baby stroller I do want to get her a new hamper. So that is on my list of things. I would like to get and then you guys know I love her beddies. This is like my favorite purchase I've made so far. She made her bed yesterday before she left for my mom's house. Um, and I actually need to wash it. I wash their bedding every week and I did not wash it yet this week. So I need to get on that. I'll probably end up doing it tomorrow. But um, I thought I would show you guys the decor. So, so far this is what we have. I am obsessed with this. All three of these pieces are from Hobby Lobby. Um, they were on sale when I went on Friday. So I got these pictures this one and the succulent were each on sale for $12.49 And then this cute rack. I can, don't know if you guys can tell it's actually gold and that was on sale for 15 She loves art. So I thought this would be perfect for hanging up her little art projects Pictures of family. That's my brother sister-in-law nieces and nephew um, And that's kind of why I brought the table back in I was gonna bring in her little gel pens and things like that so she can sit in here and color and get her like a cute organizer to sit on the table with all of her pens and all that stuff and then she can keep some paper like in her closet that way she can draw up here and all that good stuff this basket her theme for her room is going to be boho i guess you could say and this basket was at ikea for $24.99 perfect size for throw blankets she's got her favorite unicorn blanket and her mermaid blanket in there and then i got curtains at home goods and I was super excited to show them to you guys but I was an idiot and I didn't measure so they're too short so I ordered curtains pretty much the same exact ones that I had bought at home goods and loved off Amazon and those are arriving tomorrow so Chris did get the curtain rods put up for me um, I'm really excited to get the curtains up and show you guys they're just like a sheer curtain but they have pom-poms all around them like little white pom-poms they're adorable and then we're doing a rug I ordered it today and it's not supposed to come until February 1st. So I'm a little bit bummed about that because I'm so impatient, but I'm really excited for the rug to get here because I think it will add like a pop of color. So once the rug gets in, I'll show you guys all that. And then everything else I might just keep as a surprise for the reveal. There might be something else coming to this corner here. And then I would like to do something above her bed and something above her dresser. The dresser will end up being centered. I'm going to center it between this window and the corner here. And then if we need to, the stroller can go in the loft. And then, like I said, I'm getting a new hamper. Um, probably not hanging anything over here. And then I got her this really cute letter board at Hobby Lobby. I wanna say it was on sale for like probably 15 or so. Um, and I just love that I can like change that out all the time with cute little sayings. I'll show you her closet and how we organized it. So she has her like LOL glam camper thing whatever it's called um here's the bunk beds for her our generation dolls i figure that'll be easy to pull out when she wants to play with it or she could even leave it right here when she plays with her dolls she's got everything organized in here i'm sure i've shown you guys this a lot of times this is kind of like miscellaneous some random boy miscellaneous stuff all of her horses barbie dolls 
these are just odds and ends, like little dolls. Some of them are from like Spirit, the show, the horse show, um, Sophia the First, things like that. There's some princesses and then another miscellaneous. We've got a few books here. These are all Barbie accessories. So shoes, purses, crowns, things like that. Here we have all the LOL accessories. They're little shoes and cups and all that good stuff. And then this is like her jewelry for her Our Generation dolls. I did, these are clothes that she is going to grow into. She does not fit into yet. Some dress up dresses. And then these are all shoes that she does not fit into yet. Her little Our Generation high chair. I'm gonna swing the doors this way and show you guys this side. Um, more shoes she has not grown into yet. These are all headbands and bows and things and just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Here we have her LOL dolls. Um, some of them are at my mom's or in the car. And then in here we have like accessories for the R generation. So like she's got the horse and the horse trailer. So there's like the riding gear, shoes, and here's all the clothes for the R generation. And then this is all Barbie clothes. We've got a basket for her shoes. This used to be what her toy food was in, but when we decided to get rid of the kitchen and take the food to my mom's, she has bins at her house for the food. Um, and I love this bin. I got this bin at Target like, I don't know, probably five years ago. Yeah, probably about five years ago. And I loved it and it worked great for the toy food other than the fact that little pieces fell out. So it never like really stayed in there. It was always kind of messy looking. So I thought this is perfect for all her little shoes. And then this, <laughs> this is going to be the death of me, the overflow of dolls and stuffed animals. We have gone through this so many times and these are our absolute must keep, cannot get rid of ever, 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 ever in her opinion. So it's kind of overflowing, but I figured out of sight, out of mind. So here is her room. Like I said, I will come back once I get the curtains up and show you guys. And then once we get the rug, I will show you that as well. And then I think I'll save everything else, like the last little finishing touches that I want to do as like a surprise for the end. So just thought I'd give you guys a quick update and show you what we are working with. Hey guys, I am back with a little room update. We are so close to being finished with her room, so I don't wanna show you the whole final like reveal yet. I'm waiting for one more thing to come in the mail and then possibly hanging a shelf. And I will show you the shelf, but I wanted to show you kind of like the little knickknacks that I got at Home Goods and TJ Maxx last week to go in her room. Um, I feel like TikTok and Instagram have gotten more like sneak peeks and little updates than YouTube has, so I'm sorry for that. But if you're not following me on there, and you want to, it's pricklypair86 on TikTok and kramer.crew on Instagram. Um, it's easy to just show like the little sneak peeks on my Instagram stories or like little clips on TikTok. So sorry you guys, but let me show you. I'm gonna flip this around so you guys get to see a little sneak peek. This is the rug that I ordered off of Rugs USA, obsessed with it. So I got this at Home Goods. This was only $6.99. A cute little fake plant, it matches her um, pictures that have like the cacti in it from Hobby Lobby. This was something I had downstairs on the hutch I brought up here. This flower pot we bought, oh, <laughs> we bought at, at home like last spring, like in May, and I got a snake plant for it. She absolutely loves it. And then I found these two super cute gold picture frames at TJ Maxx. I need to get some pictures in those. Um, and this is the shelf that we want to hang. I'm obsessed with it. I got it at Home Goods. It was kind of spendy. It was $40, but I love the macrame and the wood, it's not like cheap pieces of like plywood or anything like, like that. So I wanna hang it here above the chair, right to the left of this window. The only problem is, is like we need to figure out how exactly to hang it because if we hang it like how it is with this knot and it sits up against the wall, the shelves won't be like flush. They'll be like slanted and at an angle. And that's not gonna work because I want some of these items to go up on those shelves. So this is just a little sneak peek for you guys. You can kind of see her curtains um if there's anything i show from amazon the curtains are from amazon or like the rug from rugs usa or anything you guys see in her room and you want to know if there's a link to it obviously it's harder to link things from like tj maxx or home goods but things from amazon rugs usa target walmart anything like that i can link for you guys so let me know if there's any links that you want but here is her sneak peek and i will be back and i'm hopefully going to film the rest of the re like the reveal we're going to hopefully get that shelf up and then also um, her throw blanket coming in the mail and all that. So I'm hoping to get that done today, crossing my fingers, and then I can film everything tomorrow. So we will see. All right, you guys, welcome back. And we are finished with her room. So I wanted to jump on and show you the little reveal. Um, I am obsessed with how it turned out. When we first moved in, if you guys have seen our house tour that we posted way back when we first started our YouTube channel, 
um, in August of 2019. Her room was hot pink, like the hottest pink you could think of. Um, probably even a little brighter than this hot pink blanket in that basket. It was so bright. And I knew when we bought the house, I wanted to paint it. At first I thought maybe a light pink. And then I was like, you know what? I just love this gray. We're gonna do gray. This is the color that's throughout our entire house. I just need to finish painting the upstairs. And I'm so glad I did because with the Wayne's coating, I think it looks phenomenal. And I told her I would do like touches of pink because she loves pink. And so I think that we added just the right touches. So I wanted to show you guys really quick. I'm standing right here at the door. Here is her Betty's bedding. I've done a couple videos on it and I am still obsessed with this. We've had it like 10 months now and I love it just as much as I did the first time I put it on her bed. By far the best purchase I've made for all three of my kids' bedrooms. The boys have them as well. Um, I can do a video on this. I'll probably do one on it next week, but it's like a one piece bedding. So they just have to zip it to make their bed. It's fantastic. And I love the way this color looks. I don't know if the camera is portraying the right color, but it's like a really soft blush pink. And I love the way it looks with the gray walls. I wanted to add in other little splashes of pink. So this has like a darker blush. It's kind of hard to tell a coral and then there's a cream. Um, and then I wanted to do kind of like navy accents. I love navy blue, love it so much. And I had a really hard time. I thought of getting like a square navy pillow to go between this little accent one and her, um, why can't I think of what it's called, and her sham. Uh, but I had a really hard time finding one that matched the blue in the stripes on this pillow and I did not wanna take that one back. So I just decided one little accent pillow would be enough. And then I found this navy blanket on Amazon. I love the details. And then it has like fringe. It is so soft. And I think that this all ties in well with her rug. This rug was from Rugs USA. It is a five by seven. And I want to say it was like after tax and shipping, it was like $86. It has some gorgeous colors in it. I wanted something colorful and fun, but I didn't want it super bright. I don't mind like the bright pinks and the yellow and like things like that, but I wanted it to be kind of like a muted rug. This is exactly what I had in mind. As soon as I unrolled it, I was like, yep, this is it. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, we bought this furniture, the dresser and the bed at American Furniture Warehouse shortly after we moved in. Um, so we really just had to do decor when we did this room. I got some curtains off Amazon. Love the little pom-poms on them. They're so fun. And then here's like a little look. I know I showed you guys the decor yesterday. Her mirror from TJ Maxx. Last night, Chris got this shelf up, I still do need to put pictures in those two gold frames. I thought I had some and I can't find them. So I wanna do a picture of her and my dad. And then I said, what do you want the other picture to be? I didn't know if she wanted it like a group picture of us we have from like Disneyland with like my parents. And she was like, a picture of me and Nana. So we gotta print those out. She's gonna love that. This is her little reading nook. I have a basket here. This was originally a planter that I had downstairs and I filled it with some books. I thought I'd just switch them out every now and then and she can sit here and read. This cute little rainbow pillow is from um, at home and she loves it so much. She loves rainbows and I thought it added like a fun little splash of color. So here's kind of a view from over here. She loves to draw and do art. She loves coloring, things like that. So we put this table back in her room so she could draw and then I found this awesome little piece of I don't know what I want to call it. I guess it's obviously you hang your art on it. But anyways, I found this at Hobby Lobby along with the cactus pictures and it has little clips so she can hang stuff on there. There's my brother and his family. And I thought it goes perfect. I love the gold accents. Gold is one of my favorite things. Um, this was from Hobby Lobby. The gold inside kind of just matches. And then she's getting gel pens, a 30 pack of gel pens for her birthday. So I'm going to divide them up and put half here and the other half here. So this will be full after she opens her presents tomorrow. And then I love this letter board. I haven't changed it out since I first put it on, but thought it was so cute. She loves hearts. So I am so pleased with how her room turned out, like so excited. Um, it's been really fun. I knew I wanted to do this and I had like visions in my mind, but making it all come together has been so extremely fun. I love it. I love how it turned out. Um, I don't think there's anything I would do differently. There's nothing missing. Um, I could not be happier. So thank you guys so much for following along on the journey. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. I still have both the boys' bedrooms I want to do. I have most of their decor from our old house, but they both need to be painted and set up. So I will be moving on to Jackson's room next because his room is an atrocious 
bright orange and there is a navy blue wall that I don't mind, but they were Broncos fans and it's way too much for me. So we're gonna paint that gray and decorate it and get that all set up and kind of make it into more of like a teenager room. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing these like little house projects and these fun little updates we are doing around the house. I also have the laundry room planned in addition to the boys' room and Chris in my room. So anyways, thank you guys so much for following along on the process. Like I said, if there's any questions you have on where I got anything, let me know and I would be happy to share any links that I have. Thanks guys.